I hate to be in my mid-30s. Oh, so, so old. old. <laughs> Thanks, Abs. I love being in my mid-30s personally, oh, okay. but that's all right. <laughs> Thanks for that. Much of the state has endured its hottest day in a year. Sonia Marinelli is here to tell us when the cool change arrives on. Mike, I'm happy to say it's just a few hours away and then that is it for the summer heat for at least the next six days. I'll have the details next. Hello again. It is still 37 degrees outside right now under gusty northerly winds, but there is a cool reprieve and that is coming just hours away. So coming up tonight, a cool wind change hits the city. It is a dry change. Then most of this week is cooler than average. But today certainly scorching those gusty northerly winds and the hot summer sunshine pushed up the temperature. We reached 36 degrees by 3pm this afternoon, but it wasn't really until five o'clock that we hit our peak at 37.5 degrees, our hottest day since February last year. Some suburbs soared to 38. Laverton and Point Cook reached 39. Geelong under cooling sea breezes came in a little cooler at 28. Mostly clear skies and those hot northerly winds drove that extreme heat right across the state. As forecast, it reached the low 40s across northern Victoria and low to high 30s across most of the south. Now, most of us right now are still sweltering, but that change is already starting to filter through into the southwest of the state. When it hits the city from 9 pm tonight, that temperature should drop by around 10 degrees. We're looking at a top of around 24 by midnight and that's a similar story as it continues to sweep through. It does take longer to penetrate the north but it should flush out most of the state's heat by lunchtime tomorrow. Now this is a mostly dry change. Some light showers for southern parts but what it does do is enhance a rain system that is pushing down into the northeast of the state. Storms are forecast to bring heavy falls over the ranges tomorrow afternoon. Okay around the nation tomorrow there's showers in Sydney and heavy rain for Canberra but warm Monday Sunday sunshine in most other major cities. Here a moderate to fresh southwesterly wind change continues to sweep the state, res resulting in below average maximums by the afternoon. The change brings light morning showers to the southwest and central districts with early morning showers and storms in the east ramping up again in the afternoon. It could produce heavy falls over the ranges. Closer in, it is a cooler morning here in Melbourne with cloud building through the day. Just a slight chance of a shower and a possible rumble, rumble of thunder up in the northeastern suburbs. But we're going to be feeling the fresh bright of those uh, breezy southerly winds. So not quite winter weather, but a big drop from today. We won't be getting any warmth from the sun. And we're looking at a Monday high of 23 degrees. The sun comes back to play from Tuesday, but we'll spend the rest of this week under a cool southerly breeze. So temperatures not rising above 23 until Sunday. That is when it's forecast to jump back up to 30. So for those who don't like the heat, this week is certainly for you. Tomorrow, Beck might cloudy and 23 degrees. And someone, much forgot, someone forgot to put the air conditioning on in the studio, so I'm welcome. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's 7 News for this Sunday. We'll have updates throughout the night. <laughs> for now, from the 7 News team, please take care. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs>